who will survive and what will be left of them? <laughs> the most brutal crimes in the annals of American I don't know. America's most brutal crimes. That's what it says. So let's get beyond all that. This is a good shirt for me to be wearing today. It's one of my favorites. There's a very simple thing I want to share with you. Um, I'm watching something with Noam Chomsky, N-O-A-M space C-H-O-M-S-K-Y. Sounds Russian, doesn't it? Certainly not Polish. He's talking about this thing. And he's talking, he's talking. And we think of Noam Chomsky as a philosopher. But he's not. He's a linguist. A linguist. Watch this. This is the fun part. I was sitting there and I, I was watching this and I said, ah, I, I got, ooh, linguist, a linguist mistaken for a philosopher. And I said, I got to go to my readings. Watch this. I ran right to the cabinet and it was sitting there right on top. Look, this is the book I stole from San Jose State Library. Um, Nietzsche, um, complete works. Nietzsche, Nietzsche, oh, look. You see why I couldn't give it up? I even wrote it all in pencil so you could erase it when you returned it, but I was just like, this is just too much. I gotta write this fucking shit down. Obviously, they've got two blank pages in the beginning so you can write down notes. Ah! Oh! Three. But you see how we look at Nietzsche. We look at Nietzsche, 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 whatever the hell you call him. We, uh, we look at him as a philosopher nowadays, but in reality, he was labeled as a linguist. And this is what Noam Chomsky, N-O-A-M, Space, C-H-O-M-S-K-Y. He is in Polish. This is what Noam Chomsky labels himself as. He's a linguist. And we think of him as a philosopher. He's been around for years. And I've never heard him say anything that was wrong. And the way he talks, the way he speaks, is much better than the way I do. He's a goddamn genius. Just by understanding the depths of meaning and words, you take a linguist and you turn him into a philosopher.
I'm not a linguist. In the past, I have been a kind of linguist, but not a linguist that would move forth to a position of philosopher. But my gosh, what the, th oh, there's one that says, uh, page 164, Jesus said, let's read one. I, 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 I would have it underlined. That's 124. That's 142. That's 152. These are good, thick pages. This is a good book. If you're going to steal a book, from a library, make sure it's worth it. Oh, one. I, I was sure it was 146. And you wait long enough and the library will forget that you stole it and it's free. I'm a library thief. Mm. Oh, it was 164, wasn't it? God damn the pusher man. God damn God. Seven fifty eight, fifty nine, sixty one, sixty three, sixty four. Let's take a reading. Every system of unegotistic morality, which ticks itself unconditionally and appeals to everyone, not only sins against good taste, but is also an incentive to sins of commission an additional seduction under the mask of philanthropy. You see, this is Nietzsche. And you've got Noam Chomsky, highly regarded in my world. Again, never heard him say anything that was wrong. You have to pay attention to the people that are speaking to you because if you can find anything wrong with what they do, then it's quite probable there's more than you would have ever imagined. But you've got Chomsky, who will be one day regarded as a philosopher. He's not touring anymore. It saddens me. I looked it up. Nietzsche. He didn't tell us the way things were supposed to be. He told us the way he saw them. And his sister's friend Hitler said, gee, I could use some of that. Remember your philosophers. If they allow you to hold on to the book, remember them and never forget them because they're trying to take your philosophers away. <laughs>